Hi, my name is Kevin Sukan, and I'm a Solutions Architect here at AWS. Today I'm going to talk about how you can consolidate SQL instances to save costs and do a quick demo on the process of adding an additional SQL instance to your current installation. Part of the installation process of the SQL Server database engine is creating an instance. The instance of SQL Server is a complete install containing its own server files security logins, and system databases. Multiple SQL Server instances can be installed on the same operating system without them interfering with each other because each instance has all its own files and services. However, by being installed on the same server, they would all share the same hardware resources like compute, memory, and networking. It's typical to only use a single SQL Server instance per server in production environments so that a busy instance does not overuse the shared hardware resources. Given each SQL Server instance, its own operating system with its own resources is a better boundary than relying on resource governance. This is especially true for high performance SQL Server workloads which require large amounts of RAM and CPU resources. However, not all SQL Server workloads use large amounts of resources. Some companies assign each of their customers their own dedicated SQL Server instance for compliance or security purposes. For smaller clients or ones which aren't typically active, that means running the SQL Server instances with minimal resources. According to Microsoft's SQL Server licensing guide, each server run in SQL Server must account for a minimum of four CPU licenses this means that even if you run a server with only two vCPUs, you must still license SQL Server for four vCPUs. In scenarios where servers are run in configurations with less than four vCPUs, this can lead to wasted resources and increased costs. Consolidating SQL Servers allows organizations to better utilize their purchase licensing and reduce the overall licensing costs. By combining smaller servers into a single more powerful server, organizations can ensure that they are making full use of the minimum required four core licenses. This consolidation not only eliminates the need for additional licenses, but also maximizes the value of the existing licenses. In this example, we combine two M6i large instances into one M6i extra large instance and consolidated the SQL instances. This eliminated the cost of one instance, but also reduced the licensing requirement by 50%, leading to significant cost savings. If you're considering consolidating SQL Server instances, the biggest concern is the resource consumption for each of the instances you're looking to consolidate. It's important to get performance metrics over long periods to get a better understanding of the workload patterns on each server. And some common tools for resource consumption monitoring are Amazon CloudWatch, Windows Performance Monitor, and SQL Server's native monitoring tool. Once you're confident in your plan to combine SQL Server instances, you should understand some minor differences when multiple instances are installed on the same server. Some of these include the default name of the instance, understanding that each additional instance installed will be a named database instance and have a unique port. And you can use SQL Server's native backup and restore or database migration services for migration and or consolidation. And next we will jump into the demo for adding a new instance to your current SQL installation. So for a demo, we have a SQL Server 2022 standard edition with license included run in one instance and it's the default SQL instance. So now we're going to add an instance. So we're going to go to the C drive and go to SQL Server Setup and run Setup from there. Then we're going to go to Installation and we're going to choose new SQL Server installation.
and then we choose perform a new installation of SQL Server. And here, since this is license included, we'll choose I have a SQL Server license. And here's where you choose what features you want. So we're just going to choose database engine services for this demo. And now we enter named instance. So we're going to call this second instance. And hit next. This is where you specify the authentication mode and you add your administrator. We're just going to add the current user for now. And choose install. Once the installation is successful, we can close that out and then verify that the new instance is there. And here you can see we have a second instance created. It is recommended that after adding the new instance that you run the latest version of SQL's cumulative updates. Once that's completed, you can then migrate your data. I hope you found this informative and thank you for watching.